you got past his legs and we're in here in a nice pin position. So we're going to start off with the head control and underneath the armpit, thumbs together so there's no uh, gap there, gable grip and good control. It's hard for him to turn and face us because I have his head here, it's hard for him to turn away because I have his elbow. We're going to start improving position from there. He's going to walk in, he has his elbow in good position here, I'm going to walk myself inside so it comes out here. He can't use it as well. Because I'm holding on to him here, tight with my arms. As soon as I let go, he's going to use his arms to get me away. So I'm going to get them out of the way first. I'm just going to walk down towards his hips, get my hip under his elbow, come back and get it up here. Hold on to the armpit, hand on the ground and go. If he ever pulls back down with his elbow, just jam your hand into the ground, wait for him to relax a little bit, go up a bit further, and then we're going to slide across. So try to get the knee high up on his diaphragm or the bottom of his ribs. He'll tight your hips. Knee touches the ground and then over exaggerate the last bit. It's really important. It won't make a difference when you're drilling, but when you, he's resisting, it makes all the difference. Knees wide, feet, big toes coming towards each other. Keep control of them here. It's going to be hard for him to escape that. Okay, so we have our side control position. We walk down, get your hip right in against his hip and drive it all the way back up. Getting his arm away from his body on the near side. Arm pick grip up high on the far side. So now he's got his two elbows up here and loads of space to come across. Knee, ankle, knees wide, feet together, balance. Okay, give it a try on two guys. One, two.